Hi everyone, it is Monday today and I thought it'd be a nice idea to do another one of these like day in the lifestyle videos. Um, my cousin Molly, hi Molly if you're watching, said oh I really liked that video that you did, like please do more. So I was like okay, I'll try and do a week in the life instead because there's a bit more variety then in the sort of stuff that I'm doing. So yeah, it's Monday today and I thought let's just do another one. So I'm just working on a commission of a cat, the one that I mentioned in the last video and it's funny today because I don't have any Wi-Fi at all and that is because um, a delivery driver, I won't say which company it was for, but a delivery driver crashed his van into a tele telephone post and um, because of that it's all like broken and all the wires were hanging out and he put the wires on top of a hedge and then Lancashire County Council have come round and chopped all the wires up because it was a safety hazard. So <laughs> so now there's no Wi-Fi and they need to close the road in order to fix it. And it takes three days to get permission to do that. And yeah, it's a big job. So that's great. But <laughs> I've just bought more data on my phone and I'm just going to have to like hotspot everything to it. Anyway, enough about the Wi-Fi. Um, I'm going to see London Grammar tonight in Manchester so that's really exciting and so I've done my makeup ready for that and yeah I'm looking forward to it. Got a bit of a cold again which is annoying but that's probably because I went out in Manchester on Saturday. I've been in Manchester a lot recently. So I've got my comfy clothes on and I am just having a chilled day up until I go out afterwards. So yeah, I'll show you the commission that I'm working on. So this is the commission that I'm doing. Um, I showed you the picture in the last video, George the cat. And yeah, this is how far I've got with it. Um, I'm happy with it so far. I'm just struggling with this tongue because it's a little bit blurry in the picture because of the movement. It's obviously been taken like as he's doing, licking his paw, so. But yeah, I'm just taking my time. I'm going to finish this fur before I move on to like this bit again, I think. So I think it would draw in. It's just a case of doing what you find easier and then coming back to the bits you're struggling with. So yeah, I'll just do like a little video of me drawing it now. By the way, any time I'm not filming what I'm drawing, I literally draw it like this. Literally, my head is like this close to the paper. So filming is quite hard because I have to force myself to sit like a normal human being. I probably should draw like this more, but then I'm always tempted to like look at it really closely. <laughs> This is probably going to make me laugh when I watch it back and see how close my head actually is to the paper. Just having some lunch now. I literally eat the same thing like every single day because I'm so boring and a creature of habit. So I'm having couscous with corn chicken and I put loads of this on. I love it. It's so good. Sriracha mayo. The best. Also, I cannot go a day without eating a pack of Walker's crisps. One of my absolute favourite, especially salt and vinegar. Mmm. Not very healthy, but oh well, the good. I have just finished my lunch, feeling a lot better, and I'm gonna carry on with this commission. But before I do, I just thought I'd show you the new greeting cards that I got, um, because I was showing you the board collie one in the last video. So this is my cards, and I've been trying to replace these flimsy bits of paper with these like sturdy, um cardboard separators every time I get a print order from printed.com comes with one of these so I'm gradually replacing all them and so the new one was the border collie turned out really nice I really like it so I love that and the tabby cat also looks fab really good quality 
really recommend printed.com for cards and what other one the black lab there we go love that too that one's not as detailed because it was a slightly smaller drawing that i've had to like stretch but it still looks good so happy with those and i'm gonna carry on just building up the collection as i go so i've got plenty of cards to work with now which is good um, if you're just starting out with something like this, don't be like disheartened if you've only got a few designs. I only had like four or five designs to begin with and what, like four or five different cards of each. Oh, just not my heater over. Um, it takes a while to build up designs, like this is like years of drawing. So yeah, it takes time. Don't be hard on yourself and just keep going. I also got a few hedgehog prints which I have mounted and wrapped and they're limited edition so you just put the number of prints that you're doing there and I've signed it and yeah they're on my Etsy and my online shop so they've been doing quite well I mean I only order like small amounts and I've sold three so far so yeah we'll see how they go. The wrap that I use to uh, package my prints and portraits and stuff in is this one and it is eco-friendly because it's made out of cellulose instead of plastic so there's no plastic in this but it's acid free which is important for preserving art without ruining it and yeah it's really good recommend it i'll leave a link down below if you're after something similar i think in future i'd like to get some sleeves that are big enough to fit the print in just because it is faffy cutting it out and uh, wrapping it all up. I mean, I know it's not really, but when you're doing quite a few, it takes a while and I'd quite like for it to just be like, slide it in, job's done. So yeah, but you don't, you don't learn these things until you actually try stuff. I don't know what it is about prints, but I just get really nervous about them. Like greeting cards, I find that really easy to just do and I always love them when they arrive, but for some reason prints are like, I don't know, I don't have a lot of confidence in my prints, but I'm getting there with it and I do sell some of them. So yeah, but I definitely enjoy the greeting cards process a little bit more and they're easier to sell obviously because I charge like what, £2.50 on my online shop and £3.50 on Etsy. So they do generally tend to sell a bit easier than the prints, but I think it's good to have a good range of stuff. And I have thought about doing like other things like um, little makeup bags and stuff like that. But to be honest, it's just so expensive to buy the stock and you have to buy like a lot, um, like a minimum order usually of at least like 200 pounds. And yeah, I just don't, I don't want to take that risk right now. So I'm quite happy with the greeting cards and the odd print here and there. So yeah, but obviously it's different for everyone. What sells for one person might not sell for another. You might sell hundreds and hundreds of prints. It's just one of those. You never know. I have got a show in a few weeks. I think I mentioned it in the last video. It's at Brockholes Nature Reserve in Preston. Well, I never know if it's Blackburn or Preston, but um, yeah, just there. And it's quite nice really because um, I found a photographer on Facebook called Keith Bannister and he takes a lot of his pictures at Brockholes. So it's quite a nice little connection to have there and I've drawn quite a lot of his pictures um so yeah um, I don't know why I just in my head I'm like I don't want to go I don't want to do it I get really funny about doing a fur because I've never done one before and it's like a big thing to uh, be organized for I'm just like I don't know if I want to do it but then I'm like but I paid for it so why wouldn't I just do it I don't know it's weird I think like you'll find that some things you're just naturally drawn to doing like I love doing the cards and I love doing the videos but things like doing furs and galleries and stuff like that just doesn't come naturally to me it's not something that I'm like oh dying to get out and do do you know what I mean but yeah it's weird I suppose you've, you've got to focus on what you like doing but also don't be afraid to try the stuff that you don't know if you like it yet. I say this, but I'm literally the worst for talking myself out of stuff. 
it's now quarter to five and I've just finished up doing this commission. I think I'm pretty much finished with it but what I'll usually do is like go away for a day, come back and have like a fresh perspective on it, fresh set of eyes and usually I end up adding a bit of extra colour or detail. So I'll show it you. So this is the drawing. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and yeah I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow I think because I need to set off about six o'clock and I need to have tea and stuff so oh if you're not northern then you probably don't call tea the same as me <laughs> it's dinner to most people but we call it tea so I'm gonna go and get something to eat and call it a day for now and then I'll be back with you another day now Tuesday London grammar was so good like really good Um, I feel a bit grim and tired today I didn't get home till midnight and yeah now I'm really tired so I'm just gonna be cracking on with Christmas commissions and I'll probably speak to you tomorrow because I'm not feeling too chatty today <laughs> so yeah tomorrow's my birthday so I'll speak to you then hi everyone it's now Thursday and I completely forgot to film anything yesterday because it was my birthday so I just had a nice chill day, didn't really go on social media much or anything like that and had a nice surprise massage booked in so that was lovely. All like back and shoulders and full body pretty much, it was amazing. I get quite tense from like leaning over and drawing all the time so that was nice and today I'm going to reply to all the queries about Christmas commissions and send any invoices that I need to send to get people booked in and then carry on drawing commissions and then I think later I might start a next YouTube tutorial so yeah I'll film some of that if I do get round to that but just gonna have my week to mix and get cracking so anything that I can film I will do but obviously I can't really show the Christmas commissions because there is the surprise so yeah I just swapped my day around and instead of doing commissions this morning I changed my mind and I filmed the um, how to draw outlines using tracing paper video I don't know why I just fancied doing this getting this done and then I can just chill draw with some music on or with like a podcast or a YouTube video this afternoon so I thought Get this out of the way and then I can just chill. Just adding all of my files for the video into iMovie and then I can edit it. This time I've done like a voiceover and I've recorded that first and then I'm gonna try and like fit the videos into what I'm saying. So hopefully it won't be too difficult. Probably take me a while to be fair, editing just seems to take me a while. I'm going to get on with that and catch you up later. Having some birthday cake because you're never too old for a caterpillar cake. My boxes have arrived from Tiny Box Company and this is what I send my pet portraits out in. They only do up to 12 by 16 inch boxes, so for anything bigger, these wouldn't fit the bill. But I do mostly get small um, commissions, so these are perfect, I'll show them you now. Here we are, so these are the boxes that I've ordered. I've got some of the smaller ones, and these are all for Christmas commissions. 
so that I've got enough to fend everything out. So some small ones for smaller portraits, for like little gift boxes, they're brilliant. And bigger ones for bigger portraits. This is my most used size. Ignore that cloth on the floor. Yeah. Um might do an updated packaging video. So I might do that tomorrow if I get time. But yeah, fab. I'm all ready for Christmas now. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's Friday today and I've just come onto my Patreon to reply to a message and I've got 10 patrons now which oh my god I cannot believe it, that's insane, like I didn't expect double figures, um, so yeah thank you so much to everyone who's signed up and it honestly like blows my mind that you have so thank you and just finished my week to pick and this morning I'm going to start filming the Robin tutorial, like adding the colour to the outline. So I'll try and film that if I remember. And after that I think I'm going to carry on with some commissions. And what else am I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to Trafford Centre tonight so that'll be fun. Going with my mum and we're going to have a wag of my mum. <laughs> so yeah. Can I just get on with this tutorial now? So before I start any tutorial, I make sure that I scan the outline and then I can provide you with the line drawing. So I'm just going to scan that now, edit it a bit on Affinity and then that's all done and I can start on the colour. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new tutorial series here on my YouTube channel. So I've just finished this section of the tutorial. That's the head all done and oh, I've just ripped the paper taking the tape off because I take it, take it, <laughs> because I tape it to my desk so that's annoying but yeah I think it looks good. So now I'm editing the video. Hopefully we'll have that up today. If not today, it'll be Saturday, tomorrow. I've started putting a little picture, the reference picture in um, to the video. Oh, it's an hour and a half long. Ah! Um, and I like to write down the colours as I say them. So then I can write the full list of colours that are included. So that's more helpful to you, hopefully. I'm editing in my dressing gown because it's cold. I feel like I want to be cosy. <laughs> Just exporting my video, finished editing it. And it's not until I put the picture next to the drawing that I'm like, wow, it looks absolutely nothing like it. But, oh well, I'm not gonna like <laughs> get too obsessive over it. The thing is, it's all about um, making it your own. Still looks like a robin. Don't look exactly like the robin from the picture, but it's still, a realistic looking robin and that's all that matters. It's really hard to draw robins to be honest. I've done two that I've had to start again so I mean hopefully you'll still enjoy it regardless and when you take that picture away it looks good. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna upload that as soon as it's exported. Video is nearly uploaded and I've done my thumbnail and with that. It is now Monday the week after and I completely forgot to end the video. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I'll film more if you'd like me to. Just give this video a like so that I know that you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!